Hello everybody, my name is Queen Zenobia, and today we're going to be talking about the top six most dangerous women in anime. So, coming in at number six is Alice, also known as the Intention of the Abyss or Will of the Abyss. And she is from Pandora Hearts, in case you didn't know that. She has white hair, and she looks like the Alice from the human world, I guess you could say. She has, like, dark brown hair, but... The Alice that we're talking about, or Will of the Abyss, has white hair and she's literally stuck in the abyss. And she's basically the heart of the abyss, if you want to say that. And she hangs around chains and she's like, I guess you would say she's bipolar with the way she acts. Well, she's really, really dangerous compared to a lot of other people in anime, and that's saying a lot, because there are a lot of weak people in anime, but there's a lot of strong people, and she's one of, like, the most dangerous. She literally killed that night dude with just her mind. That's scary. Like, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to take you off. You already stole that dude's eye, and you killed that night dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna me. And she even destroyed the abyss. Like, with that much power, I'm just gonna leave you alone. If you need something, just call me, but I'm not gonna get on your bad side. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go find that dude that you wanna have tea with. I'm gonna go find him so you don't end up destroying everything around here. Okay? Okay. She's also one of my most favorite anime characters because I love um, anime characters with white hair. I don't know why. It's just something that I really love. And I especially like them when they're like psychotic girls or yandere girls or insane girls or sundere's. I'm just saying. They're pretty cool too. Um. Now, some people are probably like, you're probably saying her name wrong. Well, she's technically supposed to be Alice. So, I don't know what to tell you. But Cheshire, the dude that she hangs around, he's cute. Yee. <laughs> Number five is Suzumaya Haruhi from... The melancholy of Suzumaya Haruhi. She is a god, for one. Like, do I need to say anymore? She's a god. She created a world, and she can destroy it if she gets upset. Tell me that's not dangerous. That is dangerous. Oh, look, I'm living in this wonderful world. Oh, somebody's upset because they didn't get a pet. And the world's destroyed. Great. Great. That's exactly what I needed. Uh, that's the perfect way to start my Monday. Stupid girl. What? Well, I didn't say anything. <laughs> now, I might be saying her name wrong, but just know. I am not very good with names. And I liked how she had her hair and like a ponytail and then one day it was like down and other and then she cut it and I was like But I like the big long I like your ponytail Bring it back please Now just a little information on the anime itself um Basically, there's a club formed to keep her happy so she doesn't destroy the world and she brings entities into the world. She makes them. And that would be amazing to have your own world where whatever you wanted was there. I mean, with me, I'd probably have like an anime world filled with like game characters, Norman Reedus, and anime boys, but that's just me. <laughs> 
Number four, Yunogasai from Miyaniki or aka Future Diary. Now, just a little information on the actual anime. What happens is there's a select few people, and I believe there are. Whoa, <laughs> voice cry. I believe they're trying to become a god or something like that. Who knows? And they have a phone, and they get like predictions from all that and stuff, and they kill each other. And. There's like different worlds. It's really confusing. And there's a guy named Yuki, and you know, goes after him, and she loves him, and he ends up falling for her. And she's literally the queen of Yandere's. And if you watch anime, you should know that, because literally, how could you miss the queen of Yandere's? That's like saying you don't know Taiga. I mean, was it Tora or Taiga? I don't know. Taiga, I believe, is her name. Who knows? Thanks. You're welcome. Um, so what happens is that uh, she's really crazy for Yuki. And... She basically kills anyone who gets in her way of Yuki. So don't mess with her Yuki unless you want to be beheaded. Or stabbed to death. Unless you like that, then go ahead. Get killed by that pink haired psychotic chick. It's all up to you. Number three, Rise Kamishiro. From Tokyo Ghoul, this chick is literally called the Binge Eater. Now I haven't watched a lot of Tokyo Ghoul, I only know as much as my sister tells me because I'm currently watching different animes and I don't want to add that to a list of currently watching animes because then I'll just get confused. I'll be like, <laughs> wait, that's not happening in that anime, it's happening in this anime, and that anime is not happening in that, what? So, this chick, I believe, is, like, the most dangerous chick. Well, she's number three of dangerous because she literally creates Ken. She literally creates him to be the most, I guess I would say he's the most bad butt ghoul. Could be wrong, but I believe that. Um, I really like her purple hair. And her glasses. I like when she has her glasses off as well. I mostly like it when her glasses are off. And, I don't know, she's just really, I don't know, I feel bad for saying this, but she's really pretty and cute. Like, I know you're a terrible person, but you're cute. Please, there's something wrong with me. Okay, number two, Akami from Akami Got Kill. Now this chick's you might know this chick either because of Ezda or because you saw Kami Got Kill or you saw some chick with like black hair that's like this and it goes down and it's black and she has like red and blacks her outfit basically and she has a sword and she has a little sister who almost looks exactly like her. This chick is amazing, especially with her sword skills. And she killed Ezda. <laughs> But I love a Kami too. Don't make me choose. Don't. Anyways, um, I can't really tell you much about that because I haven't exactly um watched Kami Got Killed as well. I know a bit about it because of fan fiction. So yeah. <laughs> um all you know is that this chick's really awesome. I saw her um, fight with as death, and I was like, "Whoa! Let me get some popcorn here. This is amazing. I feel so bad because I love I love as death, but she's dying. And I can't do anything about it. But I love a too. 
I don't know what to do anymore. And she's literally silent, so... I don't know what to tell you. If you're looking for someone cool to roleplay as or have as your, like, picture of, Kami would be one because she is amazing. And if you're into, like, that whole silent but epic type, then Akami. Just go with Akami. Just do it. Now, number one, Rebecca Lee or Ravi, aka Two Hand from Black Lagoon. Now, I have not watched this anime at all. I saw the fight with her and the group of guys, and also the fight with her and that girl with glasses, and then her getting, like, thrown, and then she's, like, upside down. I, I don't know what scene that is. I also saw her when she, like, lit cigarettes with, um, her guy. She is literally the definition of dangerous. Train! Stop! Get out of my video! Anyways. Train! Anyways. Um. The part where she's like fighting a group of guys. That part scared me and made me cringe a little bit. Because she hits him. Exactly where he's the most sensitive at. And like at the back of her boot is a knife and it stabs him there I'm like oh 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 lord that's gotta hurt youch youch why why oh that's so cringe <laughs> anyways she's literally like she uses all types of weapons she's like sniper rifles handguns she's literally Reckless, but efficient, if you want to say that. Honestly, I would not face her in 1v1. I'd probably have to bring, like, an army. But then again, she'd probably kill that army. And then I would be left with no one. <laughs> but literally, I don't know. I, she's, like, she's the most dangerous to me. I don't know why, but she, like, you can put me in a room full of yandres, but don't put me in a room with Rebecca Lee, because that is scary. Ugh. No. no. That's like saying, do you want to be put in this room? Cotton candy, or do you want to be put in this room full of spiders? Of course I'm going to take cotton candy. I want to be put in a room full of spiders. Well, this has been the top six most dangerous women in anime. If you have a different suggestion or a different idea of like who would be the most dangerous to you please leave a comment about who I would love to see it who you're exactly talking about and what anime they're from so we can like you know others can find out that anime and then watch it and it's like a chain reaction you see one going in here yeah if you like this video then please like and if you like this a lot then please subscribe you know what I'm saying yeah you know you want to. Go, go click that button. I'm, I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye!